So welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Are you looking to enhance your security and keep an eye on your property? Setting up multiple IP cameras on a single network might sound complex, but fear not. Today in this comprehensive video guide, I'll walk you through the process step by step, ensuring a seamless setup for your civilian needs. And whether it's for your home, office, or business, we've got you covered. And if you have any other technology problem, you can also visit our solution page through the link down in the description box below. And our solution are designed to make your technology journey smoother and more efficient. And imagine having eyes in multiple places or connected to a single brain. That's the magic of setting up multiple IP cameras on a single network. It's like having a team guarding your space and ensuring safety, security, and peace of mind. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to discover the secrets of connecting, configuring, and managing multiple IP cameras seamlessly. So get ready to become the master of your civilian domain. So to build your civilian system, you'll first need a list of necessary equipments, IP cameras, the watchful eyes of your civilian system, capturing video footages, network video recorder, the brain that store, manages, and organizes all your video footage. Ethernet cable, the data highway connecting your cameras to the NVR and other network device. Also power supply to provide the juice to keep all your equipment running smoothly. A router which is the gateway that connects your network to the outside world. Also PoE switch that can provide power source and network connection all in one. Also you'll need a mobile device or a computer to be your command center for monitoring controlling all your cameras remotely. So after you gather all your equipment, you need a network planning, access camera location and coverage areas. Consider what area you want to monitor and ensure each camera has a clear view of its coverage zone. And decide if you use wired Ethernet cable or a wireless setup. A wired connection provides reliability while a wireless connection offers flexibilities. Factor in your network's bandwidth capacity because high quality video demand more bandwidth. And when mounting your camera, position them strategically, taking into account the angles, heights, and obstacles. So carefully connect your Ethernet cable to the camera to ensure uninterrupted operation. So without saying, let's check out what kind of devices that we'll use for today's connection. So today we are using three different cameras and a 16-channel network video recorder for the connection. So we have here the 8 megapixel IP camera with 4 mm lens. With this 8 megapixel high resolution, it can capture intricate details with stunning precision and allowing you to closely monitor your property 24-7. It can provide a wide field of view and capture a large area. Next, we have the 5 megapixel PoE bullet camera with very focal lens. It allows you to adjust the very focal length manually and flexibility to zoom in and out as needed. It also equipped with person detection and vehicle detection features. Last but not least, we have the 5 megapixel PoE PDZ camera. This camera has 30 times optical zoom capabilities, endless 360 degree pan, and 1 degree above horizon tilt angle, offer an overall civilian coverage. And here we have the 16 channel network video recorder. This is a powerful device to provide high definition video data storage and reliable connection at central management for multiple IP cameras with real-time monitoring, which is up to 16 of them. So next, let's do the whole connection together. So as you can see, now we have all the components that we need. This is the monitor to display the video footage and it's already connected to our NVR. And we have the router and a WebSmart PoE switch to support up to eight devices at the same time. And all the Ethernet cable are here, so let's do the connection together. 
First, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to our WebSmart PoE switch. And then I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect a router to our network video recorder. So our router can provide data to both of them. And coming over this side, we have three short patch cord here. Let's go ahead and plug them in because we are connecting to three IP cameras. So now that they are all plugged in, let's connect it with the cameras. First one, we have the doom shape camera. Plug it in. Next, we have our bullet camera. Last is the PDZ camera, our big boy. As you can see, they're both getting power and data at the same time. Since we're using PoE technology to transmit both data through a single Ethernet cable. So now we got all three cameras online. This is the PDZ camera, the bullet camera, and our doom shape 4 millimeters fixed camera. So the whole connection is done. So in our connection earlier, the IP camera connected to the network video recorder automatically when I plug in the Ethernet cable, right? Because it's not the first time that you connect with the NVR. You might face a situation when you connect an IP camera, it does not show up immediately. If you're facing this situation, here's what you need to do. Right click it, go to channel set, now they're all connected, but I'm going to cross it out to pretend that they're not connected. And then here we have the search button. All you need to do is search for it. Sometimes you may have to change the IP address in order to configure. But for now, we only have to hit the add button, just like this. It's pretty simple and they're already connected. And hit apply and exit it and it will stay the same. So this is how you connect to an IP cameras through the network video recorder if you cannot search for it. And thank you very much for watching us. If you're interested in how to use a mobile device or a computer to remotely control your IP cameras, you can watch a video right here.